Hello everyone, thanks for joining me. My name is Brian McCormick, you're watching MTG Rocks. We're going to be playing Sealed Throne of Eldraine. I just opened up my six booster packs for Sealed on MTG Arena. So we got the Fervent Champion Knight, Doom Foretold, Midnight Clock, Circle of Loyalty, Realm Cloak Giant, and uh, Garrick, Cursed Huntsman. So what immediately stands out to me is uh, Realm Cloak Giant. I've been running this in Sealed uh, every day, all day, and it's just a really, really strong card. It wipes the board, and it's a 7-7 seven, seven with Vigilance. Circle of Loyalty is interesting, so it costs one less to cast for each knight we control. Creatures we control get plus one, and whenever we cast a legendary spell, uh, we get a 2-2 two, two white knight. And then we can pay four mana to create a 2-2 two, two white knight, so it's a great card advantage. Grook is just an amazing card. Uh, it just wins games if you can play it. You can destroy creatures, draw a card, and just keep creating 2-2 two, two, uh, two, 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 uh, uh, wolf creature tokens. Uh, midnight Clock. Um, so it taps for mana. We can put an hour counter on Midnight Clock. And at the beginning of each upkeep, we put an hour counter. And then when the 12th counter is put on it, uh, we shuffle our hand and graveyard into our library and draw seven cards. So a lot of card advantage. Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe this is good in sealed. Um... Because, you know, games can go long. So let's go ahead and see what all of our cards are and uh, build our sealed deck. See a lot of white cards, a lot of blue. Uh, not a lot of black. We do have a Baked Into the Pie and an Epic Downfall. Ooh, two, two Spin Swordmasters. Green. Let's see what this does. Flax and Intruder. Well, we get three 2 2 bear tokens. When the deals combat damage to a player, sacrifice it, destroy target artifact or enchantment. Okay. Wow, a lot of green. A lot of green. So, you know, I've been playing white green like every day, all day, but this is just the cards that Arena has been giving me. Um, I do kind of want to splash for black for group. Or Garrick, I should say. Alright, so, let's see. That seems good. Outflank is great. Deals damage to target attacking or blocking creature. Could number of creatures we control. How many knights do we have? Whoa, we have a lot of knights. Huh. How many things synergize with knights? So, it's just circle of loyalty, I think. Yeah. Alright. Sir Aelin, really strong. See what giants we have. Not a whole lot. We need food tokens for giant opportunity to really work. All right, there's a food token. Well, the pheasant creates a food token, but they need a flyer. Don't feel like we have enough there. I don't know, we have a lot of green, but we might have better black. Let's see what black looks like.
Two white black knights. And then splash green for Garrick. I guess keeper is good. That's double green though. That's a hard splash. There's a lot of draw bridges. We don't have a lot of flyers, so fell the pheasant probably okay. Righteousness is good. That big downfall is pretty strong. Alright, so splashing green for Okame Adversary, Out Muscle, and Garrick. Don't think we're gonna have enough lands for Witch's Cottage to be that good. We have to have three swamps. Here's like a cut one for one Witch's Cottage. And see how that does. Well. Hmm. I don't know. I, we have a pretty high curve. Alright, let's try this. Alright, we'll call this Abzan Knights. So, we'll do the gingerbread. Alright, curve looks fine. A little low on three drops. But we have a lot of removal. I think our deck can be pretty powerful, but um, it looks inconsistent. But that's kind of how sealed is. You can be consistent and not very powerful, and you can be powerful and not very consistent. And if it's very rare that you get both. If you do, you just got a great pool. Alright, well. Decent chance we'll be able to play uh, Garrick this game. Take one. Butter fox. Okay. It's like we're playing against an aggressive deck. Um, if we can get up to five mana, we can destroy all non-giants. 
He is running green-white, so there's a good possibility he's running his own Giants. Uh, I'll just take it rather than trade. He can draw a land and play out Muscle to kill his Flutter Fox. Alright, that's good. Uh-oh, now we're mana screwed. Did not draw a land in three turns. Which that was righteousness instead of playing. And now we get our land. Alright, so we want to draw our fifth land next turn, and we want him to play like two creatures, and then we can just wipe the board and hopefully recover with a circle of loyalty or Garrick. If we don't draw our fifth land, we're in trouble because we don't have any playables in our hand. And we didn't get our black mana, so we can't do any black spells. No. So he's gonna get us to three. He has a pump spell we lose. We drew the amount of lands he did, we would have been able to come back in this game, but that man has to really hurt us. Thank God. Alright. Oh my gosh, are you serious? He had a creature with flash. That's a non-human. So that's game, unfortunately. If we had gotten that land a turn earlier, we would probably win this game. Alright, let's see if we want to add a few creatures. Uh, we've got a lot of two drops, though. We've got a lot of two drops. It's just... I guess we could put in a three drop. Let's see what we have at three. That's not very good. Um, a two two for three. That's not good. Well, our three drops suck. Kind of splashing green, so that's not what we want. I mean, we could put another crashing drawbridge. So, how many early creatures do we have? One, two, three, four. I think we can take out shining armor and put in another crashing drawbridge. Other than that, our plan is not to get mana screwed. I think we can win out.
We've got Garrick and we've got mass removal. We definitely got strong cards. He's got two on color rares back to back. Give me a break. Right, well, let's we'll deal with that before it uh, gets bigger or he ramps into things. I don't really see myself getting more value with that later, so. Alright, I'm sure he has a combat trick, but we're just gonna make him use it. There you go. Three two life linker now. Um, let's attack. <laughs> so basically, I'm just gonna run cloak giant my next turn probably. And I, <laughs> I have circle of loyalty out to uh, keep making tokens every turn. And hopefully he just deploys his hand here, and we just wipe the whole board. That's a giant, by the way. Okay, so we can epic downfall that. Okay. Probably run cold giant next turn. Alright, feeling pretty good now.
right now we're in a real commanding position we got sir uh eileen circle of loyalty creating two twos yep all right well that's how our deck works if we can survive the early game we're gonna win so if our opponent just gets beaten to town we have we have some late game trouble if we get mana screwed All right, well, we got mana. Do we have more white or black creatures? Uh, I think I'll name white. I'm not sure if Doom Foretold is actually a good card or not. Like, we, we have to sacrifice as well. Do I want to kill it? No, not yet. I don't think I want Doom Foretold value yet. We'll just keep making him sacrifice stuff. Ooh, Rumpo Giant. great card but uh, we are gonna kill it I'm not gonna hold back round cloak giant I just want to push the advantage while I can and try and win Well, that's gonna stop our attack. No, he's gonna attack us. Interesting. Alright, that gives our creatures plus one. Now he's down to one life. We can start making three threes with the vigilance every turn.
Yeah, and there's our win. With resources to spare. And we got a mastery orb. Let's see what we want here. Shining armor, witching well, skewer, crystal slipper. What's at the top? One cloak giant. Number key. Ooh, I like green. Yeah, let's go with the green. If you want to play standard, right now you can play 12 games with any card in standard for free. I was a little disappointed that it's only 12 games because it's set for being 12 games remaining. And, you know, it takes me like eight games to kind of brew a deck. I think the idea is you can brew your deck. And then once you get to a point where you like the deck, you run out of your 12 games. And now you have to pay money to buy packs to get what you want. But I wish it was kind of like, you know, uh, for people that stream, it's kind of inconvenient because it takes me that long to kind of tune my deck and see this is what I like. The first part of this is good maybe in standard, but in sealed, you know, we'll just play it for 2-1. The first ability isn't worth holding on to the knight for a long time. Sure. Although he's got Sotani on it, it's still a knight and it stays in place, so it's going to make my circle of loyalty um, lower converted mana cost to cast. I can still use Righteousness on it to gain a lot of life and block. You might be surprised by that at some point in the game. It looks like a tiny fairy has... Or a fairy that should be tiny has captured a human and made them tiny. Or is that a giant? That must be a giant, right? Elm muscle. <laughs> I don't think it's worth doing that. My opponent just has two power, so I'm not too concerned. He plays a big threat, big flyer, we can out muscle on our turn. If he doesn't, we can play Circle of Loyalty. Our creatures are bigger. Attack with them. Oh my god, we hit Ger uh, Garrick? Oh. oh, so unlucky. But we're gonna do it anyways, there's no way around it. 
the best card in our deck was on top. That feels bad. That feels so bad. Oh well, I mean, we, we still have a lot of good stuff in our hand. We can block the beloved princess now. And our creatures will have haste when we use it. So our circle of loyalty tokens will have haste vigilance. Oh, Garrick. Why did you have to go to the graveyard? Doom Foretold, uh, not necessarily too great versus, versus our opponent, since I have so many little things. Circle of Loyalty should be pretty strong versus them now. Hmm, okay. Do you want an epic downfall, the Queen of Ice? Probably not. Well, I don't have anything else to do really, so... I guess I will. Alright, during my opponent's turn, I'll use Circle of Loyalty when he attacked. Looks like he has removal for Circle of Loyalty. Or oh, he's just reading it. Okay. Oh, I can't block it because it's a 3-3. tap this before you give it haste you guys not a static ability we can still use sir conrad or sire conrad to uh sheer conrad to uh mill and gain life deal damage So I'd like him to attack with Beloved Princess, but I don't think he will. But then I, if he did, I could block with Sentinel Swordmaster and use Righteousness to make it real big. But he probably knows he's just gonna die, so. Yeah, all right. So let's mill. Could just hard cast it. I don't think I want to though.
I may consider playing Doom Foretold now. Hmm. No, it's a non-token. Okay. You have to pay one now to attack with creatures, and it's pro white. Alright, I'm losing to these flyers, so... I'm just gonna play Realm Cloak Giant. I can just hard cast the giant. Not sure if righteousness belongs in my deck now. I haven't used it. I think I'm content with just making a uh, four fours or uh, four threes. <laughs> Man, I could have pumped it, but it doesn't really matter here. Get out a combat trick in response. Well, actually, he could have sacrificed Golden Egg to gain a few life. Alright, well, we won. I think I'll 3 threes. Seems to be a good strategy. And now we're 3 1. So we've gotten over half of our sealed cost back. We've gotten 1,200 gems now. Good top end, a little low on low end, but I mean, we can epic downfall his turn three play. 
So that means he'll probably just have like a 2-2 on the board. And we just need to make it to turn 5. And then we have Garrick as a follow-up. I kind of would have preferred to be on the draw of that game, actually, given our hand. So I had a better chance of drawing the land. to draw our fourth land. That's the start. I mean, I can't use Doom Foretold just to make him sacrifice one creature and only sacrifice our doom foretold and that's it doesn't seem like very good value though i think i'm gonna take out righteousness after this game put in another draw bridge Now I can outflank to kill the Sword Master. And this is a good target to sacrifice to to Doom Foretold. to sacrifice the witch stalker because he can't sacrifice tokens we have to flash something in to avoid sacrificing the witch stalker don't know what the long pause is either he has something with flash or he doesn't You can't sacrifice your food tokens. We draw six land, we can play Garrick. We can sacrifice our own Doom Portal. We don't have to sacrifice Garrick. This curse, this thrumming, I need them gone. Gone! What do I want to do? Destroy his creature? Let's destroy it and draw a card. And then a Doom Portal will flip on his turn, basically. He won't have any targets. And then Garrick is relatively protected because he uh, won't have any uh, any creature to attack with. Looks like you're basically if I did the to plus two ability, he could uh, he could have some kind of spell. 
That still lets them attack my Garrick through my wolf. And now we'll just make uh, two twos. When they die, that's how Garrick's loyalty gets bigger. The two twos have to die. Does he have any knights? Yeah, he does. Huh. Merely Friday is a knight. Interesting. Alright, so. Let's just kill everything. And I'd rather have the two 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 than a the higher Apex loyalty predators. than four loyalty, so. Alright, we'll lose Garrick later, but that's fine. Next turn we're gonna be able to play Realm Cloak Giant and get two two twos and give everything haste with the drawbridge. Oh we could use Heraldic Banner as well. Uh to give everything more power. We are the Apex Predators. And let's just apply pressure here. That's fine after we lose Garrick. It, it, he's created the value we needed. Ooh, Token's doing some work for our opponent. How do you make them two witch stalkers and a foreboding fruit? Our heraldic banner is gonna make these wolves so much bigger. So they're black green wolves. Remember, you reap what you sow. Alright, well let's name black. This game. Alright, we will take Righteousness out. It's a four win. Right, let's take Righteousness out. And, uh, you know, I think Drawbridge has been pretty good in our deck. We could use Fell the Pheasant. It's okay, but we don't necessarily. We only have five green sources in our deck. Yeah, I feel like Drawbridge has been pretty good for us. Alright, we'll keep this. I think what I like about Drawbridge is it doesn't take any mana to give our creatures haste. It's just a tap. Do we want to be aggressive or not? I think I'll be aggressive. I don't need the instant ability right now. I think I'd rather have a 2-1. I can play Heraldic Banner on white.
probably trade here. That's fine. So next turn I just want any land. That way I can play the Seer Conrad de Grimm. Didn't get it. Um, so we'll just Epic Downfall Wondermere. And play our bridge. We can save Epic Downfall for bigger stuff. Uh, Low Wondermere can get pretty big. In a green-white deck, that's the, you know... Well, Wondermere's green-white, but they run a lot of adventure cards, so... Ooh, that slows us down. Two drawbridges, not too great, but I guess it does let us stall. Seems pointless unless you have something with haste. Or destroying a tap creature. Okay. Okay. Alright, um. Give it haste. Attack five. Please don't have a pump though. Alright, perfect. Do we have a knight? Uh, no, we have a human soldier. Mm, don't want the mana to play that. Uh... I'm gonna save this to return Conrad, so at the end of my opponent's turn, I'm just gonna use uh, Conrad's ability twice and just try and deal damage with that ability. This card is, you know, pretty decent. Beanstalk, that's strong for him. That's going to be big when he plays that next turn. Hope I draw a white mana so I can just haste out to Arlen. I don't know. It's a giant too, so we need another epic downfall to kill it or baked in a pie. Wow. Alright. Whoa, he's got Questing Beast. And we hit our Garrick. Mm. Why do we always hit our uh, Garrick? So annoying. Alright, um. We can double block. I'm just gonna do it now. Oh man, that's a force. Right. Don't see how we're gonna win this unless we get something to deal with that beanstalk giant. That was his draw, and he had one red source. Alright, so... Turn that back. No point really here in attacking. Why doesn't he play the Beanstalk Giant? It's a 7-7. Seven, seven. I guess he wanted to kill our dude first. I mean, we'll have enough power to block it.
Well, we've gotten down to six life. That's not nothing. I mean, with Sir Conrad, we can use that three times. If we got lucky, we could... Oh, we just got another one. Okay. Alright, uh, let's just chump it. Oh, too much damage to take when he has a flyer. Wish I had a white mana for that. Um, so we can get through two damage, put him to four. No, I don't think that's worth it. If we had the white mana that turn so we could haste out the Lion's Claw, all of our creatures get plus one. Plus one, that would have been amazing. Okay, so if we draw a planes and we attack him on our turn with four blockers, he'll block Sir Arlen, he'll block Bar Witches, he takes three, four, five, six, and then we win the game. Alright, so I'm gonna leave everything on to our draw step and hope he doesn't have any creature to play right now. No, wasn't it? Alright, so... Let's see, I attack with four, he blocks this, blocks this. He goes to two. Alright, so basically... We've got to attack with both of these. And we're... we're Pretty much not gonna win. We're just trying to get lifelink here to stay alive. If we had planes, we would have won on that turn. Which is our main color. We've got... We're just kind of unlucky. We drew three of our four forests. Uh... Alright, I don't know what I'm trying to draw here. Probably the thing that taps two creatures, but he's gonna play the tree folk. Alright, that's game. Well, that was close. We were very close to being able to win that. I thought the drawbridge did fine. But maybe we can do better. I don't know. Maybe I take one out and put in a paladin. Sacrifice an artifact or another creature. Put a plus one counter on it. That's not bad. That seems like okay. Uh, I'm going to take Doom Foretold out. Maybe the paladin's better. It's an okay card, but it feels like a lot of times our opponent's just sacrificing 1-1s one or something. I mean, we hit the Witch Stalker a few times, but... I have played that in a field sealed, and it just feels okay, but a lot of times it inconveniences us. Of course we want to run it because it's a rare in our colors, but...
Just we'll try and curve here. One, two, three. Be aggressive. Opponent mulligan to six. Not always great to mulligan and sealed. Vantress Gargoyle, that's gonna let him block with a 5-4. He can't attack with it yet, though. That's an annoying blocker. He can't block unless you have four more cards in hand, which he does. However, he can't attack unless I have seven or more cards in my graveyard. So this was Doom Foretold. Um, I mean, if all he has is Vantress Gargoyle, I'd rather this be Doom Foretold. If I had another Swamp, it'd be fine. Well, now he's got Venerable Knight. Not a big deal. Alright, so if he plays another card, Vantress Gargoyle cannot block. Castle Ventress, let some scry. Alright, now this can't block, can't attack. Alright, so this will trade with the Venerable Knight. Do I want to trade with the Venerable Knight? Of one mana and dies put a plus one counter on target knight no i don't we'll just attack the one flying hmm. what like that forest play out muscle can't block still so let's see do we want to tap down probably tap down these two and attack totally happy trading any of my creatures for a worthy knight Fine. All right. Well, still, he's still got ways to go. Ooh, ooh, no! He hit our realm cloak giant. What the pause is for? Can't block with anything. No, not 
Hey, Garrick. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Charm target spells per man cost three or less. That's a two on flyer for two. He's got four cards so he can block with the Avantress Gargoyle. Let's just build our board state and hope to draw a forest eventually. Um, you know, I have cards like Sir Arlen that uh, if my creatures die, I can do a lot of damage to my opponent. Don't necessarily want to attack into open mana. We got three forest and a heraldic banner left in our deck that lets us play these two cards. Would really like to draw a forest to play my out muscle. I'm I'm not sure what I'd kill, perhaps the Vantress Gargoyle or the Paladin. I have, I have another flyer, so probably the Gargoyle would be best. Sweet. Alright. But what do I want to put a counter on as well? Probably the Paladin. But if I fight it, the pa it'll it'll die. Let's put a counter on Sir Arlen and kill his paladin. I feel like I need to attack. I'm just going to attack with everything and then he'll probably block the tactician with the gargoyle. Then I'll sacrifice that to the noble. Oh, uh, okay. Never mind. He's down to three cards, so Vantress Gargoyle can't block anymore. We got seven in our graveyard, so I can't attack. He can exile a tomb, uh, raider, tome raider, return it, draw a card. Probably slightly better than scrying two. So what do we want to do here? Um... 
Do we want to attack with everything? I think I'm fine with applying pressure. I mean, my tactician will die, but I can sacrifice it to make the noble a 4 4. Paladin has menace, so it has to be blocked by two. So, Aelin, unlikely to be blocked, because it would have to be blocked by two, because it has first strike. Could make the noble bigger, but I want to play my adversary this turn. Adversary will draw me a card if it can deal combat damage. I don't think he wants to trade with the Gargoyle. Oh, the sad thing is I lost my big threats. I logged Round Cloak Giant and I logged Garrick. Sir Arlen's really my only big threat left. He double blocks this, I can kill both, it's a two for one. And I can return a knight back. Suppose I could have played witches first and then threatened lethal if he didn't block by sacrificing the witch and the guide mother. Although I feel like he wants to block this, otherwise I draw a card. Oh, okay. I'm fine trading that for the tactician. Get rid of one of his flyers. Thank you. 
Uh, okay, so... Sure. Now I get outflank. Uh, maybe tactician is what I want, actually. During his turn, I'll, I'll tap the the Vantress and the Tactician. Or no, the Vantress and the Charming Prince? No. I mean, hmm, I don't want him to attack with the Vantress. But, can I win the game? 3, 4, 5, 6. I can't win the game. So I might as well tap the Vantress then. this flyers from attacking on my turn I can attack with everything I can also outflank when he attacks on his next turn I don't get to potentially draw a card with adversary copy of Bantress okay but it can't attack and it can't block at the moment it doesn't have pace. Hmm. How many artifacts or enchantments does he have? One. Two? That is a very dead card unless he exactly has one of those two cards. One short of lethal. I can outflank to kill the tactician, but not the gargoyles now. I'm a bit surprised he didn't block with the gargoyle. Oh, he can't. That's right. He doesn't have four mana. Or four, four cards in hand. I right, know blocks. Hope for a good draw. That is a good draw. I mean, it's only one damage, but it's enough that, uh, I would have four, four damage attacking if he blocks my three power creature. 
So now he has to have something. Barely. Man, that was close. That was a close game. Alright. Five wins now. If we win another game, we get the entire cost of our seal back. Well, we've got four mana, essentially, and, uh, Sir Aelin. This is just an alternate way to pronounce Sir, or to write Sir. Pretty great in standard knights, this card. Dealing damage, all that damage for one mana. So what do we want to do here? Does this have menace? Yeah, it does. Hmm. Alright, so, I'll probably just block the human. Alright, we'll outflank it. I don't know, I probably, I probably shouldn't attack. Little bit of tempo here, but it, this feels like a losing battle. Now, next turn we do have Lion's Claw, which uh, when it attacks will give our Swordmasters enough power or toughness to survive these little humans. Unfortunately, they won't be able to get through the Paladin. Ooh, and now he's got more Paladin's Claw. This guy got bonkers night. That is no joke. Um, Alright, well I guess we'll just sit back and try and use this as a good blocker. It can't kill the paladins though. I guess down the road, if I draw my board wipe, that could put us back in the driver's seat if our opponent plays out their hand. Is that a game? Yeah. Wow. Man, that deck was quick. Got a crazy seal pool. All right, well, 5-3, pretty respectful. We got uh, all but 400 gems back from the cost of our sealed, and we got nine packs. So, pretty good. Let's see, uh, quite a few packs. 
I'll open those later. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this sealed video uh, and learned a, bit, a little bit about Thorn of Eldraine sealed. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for uh, more sealed videos to come. Thanks for watching.